Hi, this is Dr. Minkoff, LifeWorks Wellness Center. Do you know that there are about 80,000 foreign new chemicals in our environment that 100 years ago weren't even here? So if you look at the history of our bodies, for a couple million years, the influences that they got were sunshine, fresh air, good food, and the bodies functioned well. And then probably starting in the late 1800s or so, but accelerating more and more up to now, there are gobs of foreign type things which our bodies have never seen before. Like what is plastic? What is a phthalate? You know, what is a, what is dry cleaning solution? What is a flame retardant? You know, what is benzene? These are all new foreign things. It's estimated there's 80,000 different ones. We know most of them on a one-on-one -on -one are probably not good for us. Some of them cause toxicity of cells. Some of them cause cancer. We have no idea what the effect is when your daily exposure is in the thousands of them. And we all are exposed to thousands of them. You walk outside barefoot on the grass and there's a lawn guy and he's put stuff there. You get a headache and you take a Tylenol. I'm not talking just about environmental chemicals. I'm talking about drugs too, because you put drugs are foreign chemicals, all of them. They're all poisons. So you put these in the body and the body doesn't know what to do with it. And then you go to lunch and you have genetically modified food with glyphosate on top of it. And that comes in you. And what is it going to do with that? And then you're taking something for blood pressure and you're taking something for diabetes. And then you're eating another food that's chemicalized. And then you t another food that's processed. And these are all coming into the body all the time. And you fill up your car with gas and you smell it. And you package your sandwich in a cellophane bag. And that goes off into the food too. And then it goes into your body. So we are killing ourselves as a species. I've actually heard estimates that within a couple generations, we may not even be here because the effects that they're having on us are global. Soaring rates of cancer, of autism, of Alzheimer's disease, of infertility. More than half of men now have sperm that won't swim. And many women have infertility. They can't get pregnant. And many of the people that are getting pregnant, one in 57 babies now has autism. This is not an accident. This isn't better diagnosis or better detection. This is a population that now 50% of people are chronically ill. Soaring rates of obesity and diabetes. These things were not here before. In the early 1900s, there was very little cancer. There was very little heart disease. There was almost no obesity. There was almost no osteoporosis. All these things we have done to ourselves. So the only way to survive in this environment is that you have to be careful about what you put on your body and what you put in your body. And if it's foreign, try not to do it. The other thing is that you have to keep your nutrition at optimal levels because the only way to survive is to have your body function at a rate where as fast as these things come in, your body can get them out. That means a good bowel movement at least every day. Plenty of water, plenty of fresh air, okay? because, and then plenty of vitamins and minerals designed to help your detoxification systems so that you can get rid of this stuff. Otherwise, what happens is it builds up, it builds up, it builds up. The toxins get on the surface of cells and they block receptors, they get into cells and they block mitochondria, and then your body doesn't work, and then you don't feel well. And you can name any disease you want, from Alzheimer's to cancer to autoimmune disease to chronic fatigue, these are caused by toxicities within the body so that the body cannot produce energy. And when it can't produce energy, you get sick. Okay? So I don't mean to be too pessimistic here. What we have to do is we have to like take notice, get going. Okay? Support organic farming. Get outside. Get fresh air. Eat good food. Take supplements. See a healthcare practitioner that knows this area that they can test you for what toxins are in your body, help you get them out. 
That means a better and longer survival for you and better health and better future for actually the human race. Okay? Hope this helps.